Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. As you can see on the four hour time frame, we broke down from this rising wedge pattern that I called out in a previous video. And this pattern is in fact still active because the price hasn't gone back above the point of the breakout, which is sitting roughly at 66.5K. So after getting this bullish divergence that I talked about in yesterday's video, we got a bit of bullish momentum, but got rejected from this level of resistance. And during this rejection, we actually painted a bear flag pattern, which I called out in my free Discord community, which did end up breaking to the downside. And in fact, it reached my price target. So I got a very nice trade out of that with about a 40% gain. So what is next for the Bitcoin price? I think it is most likely that we will get some choppy price action between this level of resistance, which is sitting from about 65K all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. And this level of support, which is sitting from about 62K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. However, in the case that we do trade to the upside and break through this level of resistance, then there is a bit of short-term resistance at about 67.3K. And then above that, there's a big level of resistance from about 71,000 all the way up to 74,000 US dollars. Besides that, we also have this symmetrical triangle pattern for Bitcoin, which broke out to the downside and actually confirmed a price target of roughly 58,000 US dollars. And we got pretty close to invalidating the pattern here at about 67,000 US dollars. However, we didn't fully invalidate it because we didn't get a four hour candle close above that level. So therefore this price target is still active. So until that happens, we cannot rule out that we will actually break down to the downside and actually reach that price level. So taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the three day time frame. First of all, you can see that there's a decent amount of liquidity right here at about 62.7K. However, there is also a lot of liquidity to the upside, first of all, at 65.5K and then even more liquidity at 67.4K. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there's most liquidity on this chart. So in my opinion, these would be the levels to look out for. First of all, this 62.7K level, in the case that we go that low, we might get a little bit of a bounce from off that level as well as to the upside, you get the same story, where if we take out this liquidity to the upside, we might get a rejection back to the downside from one of those levels. And zooming out on the one month Bitcoin liquidation heat map, you can see that in fact, most of the liquidity is to the upside. So we have about $2.1 billion worth of liquidity at this 67.3K level, and then even more liquidity to the upside, about $1.5 billion at 71.8K, all the way up to 73.2K. So in conclusion for these heat maps, most of the liquidity is to the upside. So I do think it is likely that at some point we will be taking out these levels of liquidity. Now getting into the Bitcoin ETF flow tables, as you can see over the last two days, we got decent sized outflows. First of all, on Wednesday, we got a net outflow of about $120 million. And then on Thursday, yesterday, we got a net outflow of $217 million. So that is actually very significant to see because usually most of the selling pressure comes from the grayscale Bitcoin ETF, which you can see in this column right here. However, as of yesterday, we can see that other ETFs are now also starting to sell some Bitcoin. So naturally, all of this selling pressure of hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin being sold in a single day, this puts a lot of downwards pressure on the price action because in order for the price to move up, all of this Bitcoin that's being sold has to be bought up right away. So if we see this trend continue of large outflows every single day from these Bitcoin ETFs, then it is more likely that we actually get a move to the downside first. So it is very important that we stay up to date with these Bitcoin ETFs over the next couple of weeks or so. And if you do want to stay up to date, then do make sure you subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame. First of all, you can see we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level. And once we did trade to the downside, we also lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level, but then ended up finding some support at the 0.5 Fibonacci level where we started trading back to the upside. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Ethereum to get a better understanding of what we can expect in the short term. Recently, we saw this ascending triangle for Ethereum, which broke out to the upside and almost completed our price target right here. However, once Bitcoin broke down from the rising wedge pattern that I talked about earlier in the video, 
That's actually when we saw this move to the downside for Ethereum. And it also invalidated the pattern because it went below the point of the breakout. So now in the short term, the levels of resistance that you need to keep an eye out for are first of all, this level from about 3150 all the way up to 3250. And in the case that we do start trading lower, well, the next level of support that you need to look out for for Ethereum is from about $3,000 all the way down to 2850. Now, one interesting piece of news for ETH is that the Ethereum ETFs got approved in Hong Kong and they will start trading on April 30th. Now, the last time that the Bitcoin ETFs got approved, we saw a 15% correction to the downside. So it is very important that you are on top of your game as soon as these ETFs launch. And I will be taking a look at the price action for Ethereum when the ETFs launch. So join my Discord server if you want to have that live discussion. Now, moving on to Solana on the daily timeframe. After we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level, we traded to the downside and lost support at the 618 Fibonacci level. However, after eventually reclaiming the 0.5 Fibonacci level, we got some choppy sideways price action. So let's take a look at the short term for Solana by taking a look at the support and resistance levels. As you know, if you are a frequent viewer of my channel, recently we lost this blue trend line that I warned about. And as soon as we saw the break of the trend line, we got a fast move to the downside. However, we just fell right into this level of support and actually got a break from all of that bearish price action with us just trading sideways a little bit. And it also turns out that this white trend line you can see right here has been an important level of support as I expected. However, do be aware that in the case that we lose, for example, this level of support, which is sitting from about $150 all the way down to $140, and actually also lose the trend line level right here, well, the next big level of support below that is from about $133 all the way down to $125. That's about it for the bearish scenarios though. In the case that we do just get a bounce from the trend line or just from this support level right here, well, there are a couple levels of short-term resistance. First of all, we have this one right here at about $147. And then above that, we have another level of short-term resistance at about $160. However, if we just clear both of those levels, then the next big level of resistance is above that from about $166 all the way up to $171 for Solana. Now, if you are a beginner in crypto and want some help understanding, for example, my videos or just trading in general, I do recommend you go check out my Patreon where you can follow my free trading course, which I just uploaded the first video for. You can find the link to my Patreon in the second link of the description of this video. And once you get on my Patreon, you can just subscribe for free and then go down to the collections page where you can just watch my free trading course, which I will be updating whenever I find the time to record and upload those videos. This has been today's update video. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.